If you're an entrepreneur, you've probably wondered at some point if publishing a book could boost your business. I've been in a number of business groups since I launched my own small business a few years ago, and I've learned a lot from these groups and from my fellow entrepreneurs. But there's one trap I've noticed a number of entrepreneurs falling into that I think keeps them from understanding just how powerful a book could be for them. So today I'm going to talk about that trap and how writing a book could be a really good marketing for you and your business. Let's go. Hi, my name is Mary and I am an introvert along with 25 to 40% of the population. Now, this doesn't mean I don't want to come to your party or meet you for dinner. I actually love being social, but I draw my energy from being alone at least some of the time. I, I limit my social interactions so that I can have plenty of alone time because that's how I feel best on balance. I feel energized and calm and, and not anxious as long as a good portion of my day, I'm alone. I also feel like I understand introverts pretty well because I work with writers through the writing program that I lead and writers, for the most part, fall into the category of introverts. Yes, this is a gross generalization. It's not true of every writer or every writer with whom I work, but because writers are often readers and many times serious readers are introverts, I think many writers do categorize themselves as introverts. Again, I don't mean that we introverts are not social or that we don't like a good night out with friends. But I do mean that at a certain point every day, we need to be alone in order to replenish our energy. And that means that we will often limit the number of times in a day that we have to interact with other people in order to preserve our energy and feel good. Now, what does this have to do with you and writing a book to boost your business? Okay, I'll tell you. Let me paint an imaginary scenario for you. As an introvert, I go to your website or I find myself there because I'm interested in the service or product that you have to offer. I'm eager to learn more about it, but I see that in order to do so, I have to interact with someone, like book a call, schedule a meeting, even reach out via a form so that you can get back in touch with me. But I don't know that I want you to get back in touch with me yet. I know that to extroverts, this seems like an extremely user-friendly offer. Like they get to talk to someone, yay, and learn more from a real human, amazing. But to an introvert, I may actually leave your site solely because it's just one more interaction and that's not something I'm up for scheduling into my life right now. So what, Mary, you may be thinking, like, should I send you a series of emails maybe or write some blog posts? I could start a podcast, you could listen to those and you don't have to interact with a human. And sure. You could do any of those things, but frankly, as a fellow entrepreneur, I know that you're not putting your very best stuff into your email sequences or any specific blog post or even a podcast episode. And I'm not in a position to want to strategize around which posts or episodes I should be compiling and listening to all together in order to assemble in my own mind a complete understanding of whatever it is you're doing or your framework or what you have to teach me, right? It's too much work on my part to have to figure that out through these bits and pieces of content that you have, however great they are. But a book? Sign me up. If I am interested in what you are selling at all and you have a book, I am down. First, I don't have to interact with anyone except for my Kindle. Second, because it's a book, I trust that you've really put thought into it. That's not just, you know, enough good content in a marketing email to sort of get my attention. And even then, since it's only one email, it would just be one small piece of content. And I would have to open a whole bunch of them over a long time again, in order to assemble a full understanding. Third, because if I paid for your book, even if it's just a little bit, a couple dollars, all the more reason I expected to have good content inside. I don't care whether it's self-published or traditionally published. Either way, I know that it's not out there being sold to people unless it's going to have some of your really good stuff inside because I, I trust you not to just be duping people, which would obviously not be a good business move. This scenario should give you a sense of why I think writing and publishing a book can be a brilliant decision for a business owner or entrepreneur. But there's an even deeper reason too. When I've worked with authors who are experts, 
on writing books to share their expertise. I've seen how it's caused them to grow as people and as the experts that they are. The exercise of distilling their knowledge into an organized set of teaching points and supporting those teaching points with true anecdotes from their life or from the lives of their clients leads them to understand their own work in new ways. They discover new insights. They reach new understandings of the material that, you know, they thought they already knew backwards and forwards. And they refine their storytelling chops, which frankly is the kind of skill that ripples into all areas of business leadership. I have one last thing I want to share with you. It's a confession. But before I do, I just want to invite you, if you are interested in writing a book, to apply to my program, The Book Incubator. The link is down below this video. It's just two questions. It'll take less than five minutes. And if you're writing a book or wanting to write a book, you definitely want to check it out. Now back to the video. Here's my confession. I used to ghost write and ghost edit on occasion for academics and business executives. I don't do this work anymore, so please don't email asking me to. Now, when I'm not writing myself, I'm coaching writers to bring their own books to life. So I would love to work with you in that capacity if you'd like, but I do not ghost write for you. Anyway, sometimes when I was working with one of these clients, I would ask a clarifying question about a point they were making. And in answering it, I would see them connect a dot that they hadn't connected before. I'm not saying that I'm a genius or that I saw something they didn't. I, I truly didn't. It wasn't a leading question. I was just trying to understand something better. I had you know, no foresight. I wasn't doing it because I knew it would help. It's just that in being forced to simply lay out principles and lessons for someone who didn't understand them, they sometimes discovered new ways of explaining themselves and new ways of understanding the content that they were already an expert in. So if you made it this far in the video, I'm guessing that you are writing a book or interested in writing a book. So I would love to hear from you. When I'm not writing, my mission is to help writers write their dream books. I love it and I live for it. Because before I published my novels, I first had to figure out how to write one. It wasn't easy because none of the writing classes I had taken had shown me how to write a novel. It actually wasn't until I had a newborn baby and just a little bit of time every day to write that I came up with a process. And luckily, it worked. I wrote my novel during my eight-week maternity leave. And now I, I teach my book writing process in my program, The Book Incubator, and it has worked for dozens of other writers. If you're curious to know more, I have a free video walking you through that process. You can get it by just clicking below and answering two questions to apply to the program. Just click below and tell me a little bit about you and, and your book or your book idea. I'm so excited to hear from you. Oh,